In the beginning, the nomads roamed the land, and the Eternal Wanderer led the way, and Enos spoke to the Eternal Wanderer, Lay aside your staff, and in its stead Enos gave him the scepter, and the Eternal Wanderer became his servant, and Enos gave him a part of his divine power, so that he might curb the doings of Beliar, and the power was fire, and he controlled it as he saw fit. But some among the nomads would not follow Enos, and the people of the nomads were divided, and those who followed Enos erected great temples, and they became the people of Varent, and the scepter became the token of their rulership. And Enos spoke to his servants, Erect a portal for me, so that I might reign over this world in all eternity. And his servants did as they were bidden. But when Beliar saw what the servants of Enos were doing, he screamed with rage, and a being of ancient power heeded his call, and arose from the earth, and some other great beings arose as well. But the time of the great beings had come to an end, for thus was the will of Adonos. And Adonos called a flood, and the being was washed off the earth. When the servant of Enos realized what was happening, he had the five divine artifacts brought into the temple, and the people of Varent perished. Staff and scepter sank down into the waters. Akasha had orders to hide the last artifact in the temple, and the waters raged as Akasha looked on. And the temple sank beneath the surface, and Akasha wandered north, until he came to the huge mountain range in eternal ice. And he founded a clan, and it was the clan of the fire. And Adnos said to his brothers, Nevermore shall you set foot in my land, for it is sacred, and thus shall it be. The barbarians lived in Nordmar, and Robar was one of them. He wandered through the ice without fire or weapons, and the beast was hunting him. Robar hid in a cave, but the beast tracked him down, and Robar felt behind him, and there he found a sword. He took it and killed the beast with one stroke. But the sword was surrounded by fire, and Enos was with it. And Enos said to Robar, Descend from the mountains, and defeat my enemies. And Robar waged war against the orcs, and the wrath of Enos descended upon them, and Robar was victorious. Once his enemies were defeated, Enos said to him, This is where you shall establish your kingdom. And Robar did as he was bidden. After the first great war, the orcs ruled the kingdom of Mertana, and the humans were their slaves, but the fighters were their gladiators. One of them was Zubin, and he fought well, for he shared the beliefs of the orcs, and the orcs granted him his freedom, and Zubin wandered south. But on his journey, he found the staff of the Eternal Wanderer, and he took it with him. And Beliar said to him, Now proceed to the country of the nomads, and establish a realm for me. And Zubin went to the desert, and there he drove his staff into the ground and said, This is where I shall build my realm for you. And the faith of the orcs became the faith of the humans.